Till that avatar, the last airbender won a Peabody Award for multidimensional characters, unusually complicated personal relationships for a cartoon serial, and a healthy respect for the consequences of warfare. Uncle Iroh, watching him have a moment with a picture of his son gets me every fucking time. I just finished re-watching last night and my little sisters are watching it for the first time. I believe it's a show everyone should watch at least once. Early Sokka is the perfect guy to represent non-op super-powered main characters, one of my favorite quotes is his I'm just a guy with a boomerang, I didn't ask for all this flying and magic. Man there were days when Nickelodeon in Germany would just play all of it in a row. Best days. Luckily nowadays we have it on Netflix. Long ago, the fandom lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when M. Nightyam Allen directed. Edit, there is no disharmony about this topic. The Earth King has invited me to Lake Laogai. I am honored to accept his invitation. It's one of the most well, thought out stories I've ever seen. Iroh's backstory eventually made me weep like a little girl. It's so much more than just guys with nature themed powers. Even beyond Ang's story, I think it was when they got to be a sing se and to see the Earth Kingdom's use of bending in all their tech, versus the way fire worked was very well reasoned. If you had access to an ability like that, you'd use the hell out of it in every aspect of your society that would allow it. Absolutely fantastic show. My then four years old son had a huge crush on Katara. People think I'm crazy when I say it's one of the best shows out there, but it's true. There's some cheesy episodes pandering to a younger audience, but the core plot and story is fantastic. Great writing and development of characters. I got home from the hospital and was told to avoid heavy workouts, so I've been watching a lot of TV. My dad, a 55-year-old man who spends 90% of his day doing yard work for the hell of it, who bow hunts regularly, who has been adamant about his hatred for video games slash television for my entire life, who has gotten up at sunrise with no alarm for his whole life, cannot get enough of this show. His favorite part is the combined animals and the first and only time I've heard him laugh at a TV show was when they were in the Earth Kingdom and it says the king has a bear. What kind of bear is it? Moose bear. Pig bear. Wolf bear. It just says bear. Huh, what a weird place. Edit, I meant 45. To those who haven't seen it, it's on Netflix now. Go check it out. TLA should be also recognized for its gender equality. Female characters are not relegated to the background and have powers exceeding males in many cases. There is also age equality, where intergenerational relationships are crucial to the plot and contextual. In addition to being a ripping yarn full of magic and heart, Till that avatar the last airbender is the shit backslash asterisk because it really is. Time for viewing number 18, except for the canyon episode. I'm done with that one. Currently re-watching as it was recently added to Netflix. I'm 32, and it sounds like I need to watch this show. Edit, also, I still need to watch the Clone Wars series. For a cartoon, when will people learn that animation is not a genre but a medium? Fun fact the creator was so in love with the anime Fooly Cooly that he made the entire staff watch it. It's a shame Nick and Cartoon Network have mostly done away with theses kind of shows in favor of cheap non-narrative cartoons. This show encapsulates everything I wish humanity could be. I've been watching this for the first time now it's on Netflix. I'm on season 2. Really enjoying it so far. I'm glad it's back on Netflix. It's such a good show. Netflix re-watching and I genuinely forgot how dumb Aim, Katara, and Sokka are in season 1, but then you do realize they are just kids and are learning some of the harshest lessons that literally everyone growing up has to learn. It is amazing how well it handles being a kid and growing up and how goddamn relatable it is even though the characters are going through a 100 year genocide. Just started the series this morning with my daughter. 5 episodes in. Not too bad so far. Uncle Iroh is the greatest role model for positive masculinity in all of animated media. It's too bad they never made a live action movie, 
it would be so easy due to the source material that I couldn't image it being bad. And the movie won 5 Razzies Plus was nominated for 2 or 3 others. This is what can happen when you don't treat cartoons like they're just for kids. Like plenty of anime. I'm convinced that Avatar is the best animated media ever made. I can't think of anything that lives up to the pure excellence in every aspect of the plot, characters, and design. Edit, every comment under this. Not the best though. Hotman. I just got to visit my three, six-year-old, cousins for the first time in months because of COVID. First day I insisted on starting Avatar. They're hooked. Talking about the evil people, the good people, the decisions they made. I feel like they have an abundance of knowledge on life to take from this show and I feel grateful that they are so interested. I'm 25 now and it is still one of my favorite shows. The character development and world building is just insane with that show. So, I never watched this until recently and I have tried really hard to get into it. I'm a huge fan of cartoons and anime and I just can't get past the voice acting. Does it improve over time? I'm only 7 episodes in. Dave Filioni was a director and writer for this show. He's had recent success with Star Wars Clone Wars and The Mandalorian. He's got a knack for storytelling that is approachable from all ages, while still being rich in story. Till is literally ripping comments from other threads and posting them here as Till. Low hanging fruit, my dude.